Hello, Ben Looms here, the Creative Director and CEO of Sirenscape. I'm going to try and give you a really quick but hopefully relatively clear demo of your first experience with Sirenscape. Right, once you've got through the startup screens, you will see this screen. You get to sign in, but I don't even have an account anyway, and I don't want one right now. I just want to try it without even registering. So I'm going to go, not now. Awesome. Good. Here on the left-hand side is a massive long list of all the content, all the fantasy content that is in this fantasy player. There's also a sci-fi player and a board game player, but you can make any content show in any of the players. You can find out on the forums how to do that. Right. I want to install something, so I'm going to click install on Bugbear Battle and fast forward. Good to see our servers are running nice and smoothly. Fantastic. So I've explained this list on the left. This is all the different encounters and locations and NPCs and all that sort of stuff. They are called sound sets. You can dismiss that list here, boom, and close it up and just show the second column here is moods. These are presets that start or stop and set to a certain volume all the elements that are in the sound design. Let's try one now. Battle begins. Cool. Music starts. Sound of roars and growls. The sound of axe and of sword on shield. Hoots and hisses, curses. All that stuff will happen and run automatically for you without doing anything else at all. While that runs, let's also install the storm sound set because that looks intriguing and probably nice and relaxing. Cool. So yes, there are different moods here that set each of these different uh, elements to a different volume or starts them off or stops them. So more music. Turn up the music, that makes a certain amount of sense. Awesome, dramatic moment. Cool, plays a dramatic moment. Excellent, good. So, I can also do this, which is super cool. Go over to the storm sound set, which is now installed, and while all that other sound is running, I'm going to start some rain. Thunder. And lightning. That's cool. And now I have a mixture of all those things. I can go down the bottom here and type bugbears in the rain, which I have already done and hit save. So now that is a preset I like. So for instance, I could go over here to storm, start a storm. Excellent. It's raining and miserable. And then when I'm ready, bugbears in the rain. Awesome. When the battle starts. I like it. That's very cool. What if I want to keep these presets all in one useful place? We have a nice little thing here called custom moods, which I shall quickly install. That didn't take long. Excellent. I can actually save that storm. Okay, I'm going to start the storm. There we are. Hide up the storm. Start this and go storm before battle. <laughs> and then when I want the bugbear battle to start in the rain. Just that so it's perfect. I like it. And here in custom moods go start that one and say uh, bugbears uh, arrive. Excellent. Good. And then go over here and add a bit more music. And now I'm going to go more music. Now that becomes a sequence of steps that I can take and go through while I'm ready for the game. I don't have to switch between the different sound sets. That's cool, isn't it? I can even edit the order that these appear. Boop. Or, in fact, delete those custom moods as I want to. Mm, and all that is with the free play without even creating an account. One more thing to show. Still, up here are one-shots single play elements that happen uh, to be related specifically to this sound set. So during the bugbear battle, there's battle cries and growls and curses. Excellent. And the storm, there's thunderclaps and the sound of a tree falling down. That's pretty cool. And then here in this section are all the global one shots. One shots that are available in all different contexts, including a force missile or magic missile. Fire spell. Fantastic. And all sorts of other stuff, including, most importantly, sad trombone. Now I've heard the Wilhelm scream is in Sirenscape. How do I get that to appear here? I happen to know that it is available in 
the Tavern Brawl sound set. So I actually want to sign in and create an account and all that. If I go to settings here, little cog, by the way, you can scale the size of the interface here under settings, something very useful to know. I want to actually log in. I'm going to go out and register an account on the website. I've gone and done that. I've made up an account name, which I'm now going to come back to Sirenscape and I've created a password and I'm going to pop that password and email address into Sirenscape. I've signed in. Fantastic. I want to search for Tavern Brawl. Tavern Brawl. There we are. I found it on the forums, a very useful place with lots of friendly people who can answer questions. I said, where is that Wilhelm scream? And they said, it's in Tavern Brawl. So I went and purchased Tavern Brawl and now it's ready to install. And fast forward. And almost done. Excellent. That once again took about 15 seconds. That's very nice. So is the Wilhelm scream? Yes, it is showing right behind me. Wilhelm scream! Ah! Yay! Note that I can trigger the Wilhelm scream by hitting T on the keyboard. A for the force missile, B for the fire spell, depending on how many one shots you've got here. It'll be a T. Ah! Yes! Ah! <laughs> and the one shot specific to the sound set are attached to numbers. One for glass smash and two for punch. Punch, 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 punch. And smash. I love it. That's very cool. One more other useful way of finding things here are your campaigns. There's a auto campaign of purchase, which is all the content that you either own or you have access to during uh, due to a subscription. And you can also create campaigns here to show just specific lists of sound sets you want available for a particular game night. You can also make sci-fi and board game content show in the fantasy player using your campaign manager. I think that's the basics. I hope I haven't gone on too long. Uh, yeah, don't hesitate to ask questions on the forum. It's a wonderful place full of lovely, friendly people who are always keen to help. And support at sirenscape.com is a wonderful place to get a quick answer. There's always someone on the email keen to help you. I hope you enjoy Sirenscape. Bring your suggestions to the forum and to support emails. And uh, yeah, don't forget the Sirenscape sounds a creator with which you can import your own content and Sirenscape Online, which means you can run games remotely uh, for virtual tabletops and things like that when you're playing with your friends who are too far away. To access those, you need a Super Siren subscription, which will also unlock more than 400 sound sets and a super growing community of uh, community content that people have built and all sorts of other goodness. I hope you enjoy your Sirenscape experience and uh, I'll see you in the community. And meanwhile, I need a force missile a fire spell, central yeah, yeah, yeah. and a bit on screen. Excellent.